Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we've got a covert drone. Okay, now this comes from Five Below. Okay. It was 15 bucks. Now, <laughs> I bought this not only because it was cheap, but it says ages 14 and up. It says with camera, foldable Wi-Fi drone. Uh, but the camera's only 720p. It does supposedly support altitude hold. That means it'll hover. And it's got 360 degree stunt. We may try a couple stunts with it. If it flies at all. Now, of course, you guys know I've got the DJI Mini 2. That thing's awesome. Thank you for my drone monkey. And uh, I've had it a couple years. Now this, though, of course... I'm not going to use um, for anything that I use that drone for. I bought this because I've seen the price 15 bucks, and if somebody's looking for one of these, I want to see if it's worth having your younger one get this or not, or are they going to be disappointed, you know. So since there's no GPS, of course, it's not going to be, you know, return to home if something happens. And it starts, it, it could just fly off. We don't know. Uh, what happened to one of my other drones, the last drone before I got uh, the Mini, was uh, when you when you update, you update it wherever you, wherever you go. You should, anyway. Well, <clears throat> that one got stuck to where whenever I put it up in the air, no matter where I was at, it was trying to come here. It was trying to come back home here. That was a problem I had with it. But, so, let's go ahead and hit the intro, let's get this out of the box, and <laughs> let's see, uh, it's very light guys, so let's, let's see what this thing's all about, apparently you can control it with your phone, I'll set all that stuff up off camera, but first, let's get this out of the box, let's get it charged up, or see what kind of batteries it takes, and whatnot, and we'll go from there. Okay, so here we go. The covert. What is it? XIB? I don't know. Um, that's a knife I found out at the river. Still got to wall it up. Go ahead and cut this tape. Uh, features 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, remote controller, app controlled, 720p camera. I don't know if I would put that under a feature or not. <laughs> Altitude hold, 360 degree stunt, and rechargeable 3.7 volt battery. Alright, so. There we go. Of course, I opened it upside down, right? All right there, there it is. Here's the instructions. Tells you what everything is. Tells you what your buttons do. Um, let's see. Here. We've got the guards on it. The guards for the. We've got extra blades. And these guards will go on here to keep you from hitting things um, we have a it's not a USB-C you get a screwdriver so you can change your blades so we'll have to be using it I got one I think but we'll just use this one to charge it up um, I don't know if the <coughs> controller has rechargeable batteries or not. No, it doesn't. 
I can tell you right now it doesn't. So there's your, your <laughs> there's your antennas. Now while you're seeing that with this black dark background there, but there's your antennas. Okay, so they turn. There's some more buttons up here. Okay, so well, let's get this thing out. Looks like there's the antenna for it. Right there. There's the little tiny camera. Boy, this thing feels feels light. I mean, really light, guys. Okay, so does fold up. Kind of feels. <laughs> like it's going to break or something. Okay, it does have a battery in it. So, apparently, seems how I don't see a memory card slot. I have to read up on it, but it probably charges or records through your phone. And you pull this out and charge. <laughs> There's where your charging goes. Wow. I thought my other ones were chintzy. This is, uh, yeah, this is bad. I know what a lot of my haters are going to say. What do you expect for 15 bucks? I expect it to do what it's supposed to do, not pay $15. To buy this thing, bring it home, throw it in the trash. Some people, you know, just. Oh, geez. Someone was detected at your front door. Oh. Alright, so let me read up on this. Let me get this on the charger. I happen to have a charger right here. There's nobody at the door, by the way. Monkey's got a hanging thing out there that you know makes it think that there's uh, somebody out there so alright while that's charging I'm gonna go ahead and put batteries in this let's go ahead and take this off while we're here since they gave us a screwdriver I'm not gonna put the guards on it Because if it crashes, I don't figure it's going to last anyhow, so. Alright. So, it takes three AA batteries. AA. All right, I'm going to get those get those put in here. I'm going to read up on this. Yes, I always read the instructions. Unless it's something I already know how to do. But I'll read up on this and see what... Is it in different language? What the hell? Oh, man. Connection. I mean, you're, I'm reading backwards here. I don't like that. Oh yeah, this looks fun. All right, and then all right. Let me see what app I've got to download and all that. Get this set up, and I'll be back with you, and I'll tell you how that turned out. Okay, one more thing before I go through all that. This is where you're supposed to put your phone. I don't know. I mean, that's not very, wow. Of course, I'll have to take my phone out of the case, but man, I don't know if I'd trust a $200 phone with, with that. It's actually going to be down there like that. And, all right. 
because it doesn't even want to shut right. But. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I got the drone out here. I got you turned up as high as I can because I don't know what you're going to see of this drone. But uh, monkey's back now and the car's in the way. But we're going to try to take this off right here. I already had it out here once. So we're going to turn it on by pushing the button up here on top. Got a light will blink and then we're going to hold that button. Now we're going to put the throttle up and the throttle back, and it should be paired up now. All right, so this button here takes off, this button lands. So let's hit the takeoff button. Very, very unstable. Even in the house, no wind, this thing. There's all over the place. You can trim it. Okay, so we're going to take it up. I don't know what you guys can see of that, but it's just wobbling all over the place. And we're going to try to do a stunt here. Whoa. away from the trees all right so let's try to do a stunt I don't know what you guys are seeing here okay it did do a flip whoa back see the there was a slight breeze and all right, I'm gonna bring it down now Bring it down here, and I'm going to hit the land button, and it lands. And it lands hard, too. Okay, now let's uh, see how the camera does, because like I said, there's no way to record this. Record with this. Uh, with the, uh, without, without the, the, the app. So we're going to go... We got the app on the phone. I'm gonna put some more charge in this because it doesn't last long. You get three or four minutes if you're lucky. So let's, yeah, that's what that means. It's going dead already. All right, so let's go in the house and I'm gonna let this charge for a few more minutes and then we'll we'll see what the camera looks like.
Okay guys, so here's my thoughts on this thing. Um, the camera of course only goes to where you have it set. Uh, I tried to get it to work with this app, which it does, but the controls are backwards so that makes it really hard. You can get maybe six minutes of flight out of this thing and it takes like 45 to 50 minutes to charge it. So, um, yeah, I, uh, do I recommend this? No, no. Um, for a first drone, nope, I don't recommend it. Um, so, yeah, it's just, uh, $15. <laughs> I wouldn't get five for it because it's, 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 it's junk. They sell that junk stuff that, they claim does all this stuff, but you never see any videos of this thing working. Well, you will now, because it's junk. You can't fly it inside, because it's very unstable. It doesn't stay where you want it to. You can't fly it outside, just the slightest breeze. I was up, I don't know, maybe 10 feet in the air, and a car went past, and I wasn't over the road. I was in the yard, and it felt it and started moving. Yeah, it shouldn't be on the market. Yeah. So, anyway, there's my review. Don't buy this. Don't buy it for a beginner drone. Don't buy it thinking you're going to be an ultimate YouTube star because it's not going to happen. You know, well, chances are that's not going to happen with a $1,500 drone. So, but, yeah, it's, it's horrible. Um, the app seems to work great, except, like I said, the controls are backwards and you can't switch them left and right. So, you know, like... Like this one here is supposed to be throttle. It's not throttle, it's direction. The other one's supposed to be direction. It's not direction, it's throttle. So as soon as you put it up and you're like, what the hell's going on? It just goes crazy. I got it to do that flip that one time. I don't even know if the camera picked it up, but I got it to do that flip one time. That was it, I can't, couldn't get it to do it anymore. It just don't respond to that. It's crazy. Two thumbs down, 0.5 star, that's it. That's all I'm giving it. Um, yeah, so there you guys go. Uh, a review of this covert drone from Five Below. Horrible. Don't buy it. Shaber, I'm Mr. Man of Legend. Gone for now. Thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, you know, got some more videos coming up. So uh, I was going to tell you something, but I forget what it was now. So uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everyone. Bye bye and take care.